everyone, it's Anthony Couch, a guitarist on YouTube. I have no idea how this video is going to come across, I'm just going to talk about it. Because this is something that I've been thinking about, music theory. We, as guitarists, we tend not to care about it so much in the same way as other musicians. This is going to be a tough video. I've made some notes on them down here on, what, on my thoughts. But I think it's best if I just don't care about how I'm going to come across, might be preachy. I don't want to come across as someone who thinks that I know loads about music theory. I just want to get this out and then uh, see what happens. Because we as shred guitarists, rock guitarists, we hate the kind of music theory that I'm going to talk about. We run a mile from it. So really this video is just, I'm just going to get some thoughts out there and see what happens and just to get a discussion going and to get people thinking about how much music theory you know and is it important? Is it as important as people think? And my thoughts are on it that we as musicians on this instrument, that is to say not classical guitar but rock, pops, soul, funk, guitar, whatever, all that stuff, we're bred to be lazy. When we pick up a, a, a guitar, it's the most accessible music instrument in the world. You go into anyone's living room, they're gonna have a guitar on the wall or on a little stand or in a case. And it's because an A chord is this, in it? We just strum that A chord, put those fingers there, there and there, and then strum away, learn a few chords A, D and E, and then we're playing our favorite campfire songs. But later down the line, we rely on that a bit too much and get lazy when it comes to the music theory. We are, we are bred to be lazy, but it's not entirely our fault as guitarists, as rock guitarists, because this instrument, in my opinion, I've been teaching guitar for a long time now, to learn music theory on a guitar is tougher than on other instruments. That's my opinion. Other people might disagree, I don't care. <laughs> they can make their own videos. Imagine learning music theory on a piano, for instance. All the piano players are going to get angry now when I say it's a bit easier on their instrument, but I think it is. It's one long guitar string. Just one. And it's in black and white, and the black keys are all your sharps and flats. The whites are all the naturals. Look at this, we've got six piano keyboards all off centre from one another. It's not even as if that all these are G's on fret three and all those are A's. It doesn't work like that. It's all completely tuned for the most part in fourths. Even that, you know, two of the, one of the strings is a third up from the others. Because a perfect fourth, perfect fourth, perfect fourth, major third, then back to perfect fourth. It's just, I don't know how it evolved like that. Does anyone know? Let us all know. We're all here to improve our music theory. So when we look at a piano keyboard, it's literally black and white. When we look at our frets, it's not even as if the, the dotted frets are on all the natural notes, because it goes F, G, A, B, C sharp, which is weird, it doesn't make sense. So that works against us. And another reason why I think, I, I would say that we've got it a bit tougher, but then we're lazy as well, so it, it all balances out. But the second reason is, We've got many different ways to play the same note on the guitar, so I can play an E. Very noisy guitar today. Got an E. The, the. They're all in the exact same, do same octave. So when we want to read the dots music notation, which is very scary for guitarists like us, we look at those and we don't necessarily see those dots has been very helpful because it's the lang it's the written language of music which written language can make stuff easier to digest uh, it means we can learn when we're not sat with our instrument listening to it we can look at the relation between the dots on the staves but because we've learned through our shapes <laughs> everyone's favorite scale shape we learn it through shapes and through listening and and hearing the sound so even though we play this scale shape we're not necessarily thinking of it as a d minor scale uh, and thinking of the notes d e f g a b flat c d we just think of it as the shape so when we see those dots on the stave d e f g a b flat c d e uh, d it doesn't really compute to us because we can play those notes down here or we can play them up here 
in the same octave makes us makes us not want to try, makes us lazy. And another reason why I would say, of course, you don't care about music theory or you hate music theory, is because it's not always necessary. We can write music without thinking about any music theory. Many rock stars and world famous musicians have made a living, made millions and millions by making music intuitively. And that's what I mean. So we can we can pick a few notes and think, I like the way that sounds. Okay, I don't like the way that sounds. I'm gonna change it. So we, we use trial and error or intuition or we copy. If we learn, if you learn your favorite band's music, if you learn Metallica and think, okay, uh, A minor sounds good with C and sounds good with D minor and sounds good with G. Then you put all those together. You don't have to know that they're all from the A minor scale or diatonic chords in that key. You know it sounds good because it sounded good when James Etfield did it. You use a mixture of all that stuff, uh, of the intuition and the guesswork. Um, but the, learning the music theory would take the guesswork out of it. That, that brings me on to why you should make, push, push. I don't know what that is, but do it. Push it. Punch it. Script is out the window. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Why I'm saying you should push through that bit in your brain that is saying, don't, oh, music theory, I can't be bothered. Learning the stave, the notes on the stave, what's the point? Knowing all the notes in all 12 major keys, what's the point? If you chip away at it a little bit, it makes other things really clear. Just add a little bit of it to your practice sessions. Yeah, do all your shred stuff, all your tapping licks. Don't care about the music theory. If it sounds good, it is good. But if you practice an hour a day, spend 10 minutes of it, Start with a pen and paper. It's the language of music, it's the grammar of music. Of course I'm biased because I'm a music teacher and no one practices this stuff <laughs> that I teach. Some of them do, I'm only joking. But for some students, I have to, I have to push them. Literally, I push them. No, I don't really. I um, just tell them to, they've got to, they've got to do this stuff. Ingve Malmsteen describes it as eating your greens. Now, now, kids, I'm going to sound a bit like, you must eat your greens. You have to eat your greens, you have to know it. Just start simple. Memorise all the major keys, all the notes in all major keys. So you could just go E flat G, F, B, F, I've got it wrong. E flat F, G, A flat B flat C, D, E flat. Uh, name all the notes in a G minor scale. G, A, B flat C, D, E flat F, G. Just reel them all off. From there, you'd be memorising all the modes as well. This has been a complete ramble. Next time I'm going to do some Fred stuff because <laughs> that at least is entertaining. I've been Anthony Coach. What are your thoughts? Do you think we're lazy as guitarists? Do you think as, as rock and pop guitarists, all the classical guitarists, they're a different breed? Because we don't learn in dots, because we don't learn, you know, we, we learn with this finger goes there, there, there and there. That's a G chord. Why? Because uh, that's where my fingers go. That, in my opinion, makes us lazy. It makes us not care about the music theory as much as other musicians. Do you agree? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks if you watched it this far. And I really do like in the comments when people let me know that they watched it this far. That makes it all worth it. Uh, I have been Anthony Coach. I'm going to pick this up. And now I'm just going to do some shred because that's why people watch YouTube videos. They don't care about people blathering on a load of rubbish. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm just going to play some pentatonic nonsense. Thank you very much. <laughs>